My name is Glenn Fields. I'm Kate Chester. We run a small agency down here in South Florida called Big Deal. We're here to talk to you today about what makes a good advertisement. It's very simple. There are four points that make a good advertisement. They're branding, aesthetics, call to action, and don't sell it. Let's get right into it. Branding. No. Now, branding is a very simple process that involves making sure that your brand is repeatable across all platforms. Platforms may mean magazines, newspapers, social media, anywhere you might see an ad, anywhere you do see an ad regularly, a billboard, anything like that. That's where your branding is seen. So say you're Coca-Cola and you use that cursive font and that red and white colors, very distinctive. When you use those red and white colors across all of your brand, like you see they're polar bears and they go very heavy into Coca-Cola for the Christmas season, they really use the red and white and they don't bother with the green much. That's because they're focusing on branding. It makes the brand feel powerful. It makes it feel bigger than it is and makes people want to get it. Now the second point is aesthetics. This point is especially important for looking professional when you create an ad. And here I've got the 2014 edition of Motor Trend. When you flip to the first page, we've got an ad by Jaguar. Jaguar is comparing their brand and their logo to other brands here. They've got Lexus, Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. You see what they're doing here is they're saying that others run in circles, we leap ahead. So they're effectively comparing their logo to the other brand's logos and kind of insulting them. And by doing this, they really intrigue us. You'll notice with the aesthetics here, they're using a monochromatic scheme, all white and chrome, silver, you've got black as well. And they're also um, using only two types of fonts. This is really important for aesthetics. You don't want to use a whole bunch of different fonts in your ad. Just one or two fonts, keep it simple. And that's something that's going to make your brand recognizable. Automotive brands are really good to look at when you're trying to discover um, good aesthetic branding and that's going to be those very distinctive fonts you see. In addition to that, lining up all of your fonts is very important. Say you've got a big header up here or over here like they do with Jaguar. Sure the sizes change, but the spacing doesn't. The size of the J is the size of the space between the J and the next line. And as that shrinks down, the same space can be seen between the bigger font in the following smaller paragraph. These things are very important for you to pay attention to when you're making your ad because they're going to make your ad look more professional and distinct. Besides, we love symmetry and if the ad is symmetrical, if it's pleasing to the eye, people are going to be more likely to look at it, more likely to stop by and probably buy it yourself. Let's uh, take a look at the next ad, which is kind of the example of everything not to do with an ad, which unfortunately also happens in the advertising world. This is a very expensive ad placement in a major automotive magazine. It's on page two. It takes up two pages and they've completely wasted it. They put this big, nasty green filter over what may have been an interesting image before. And they didn't use any of their brand colors within the ad. So basically their brand branding isn't working. They've used multiple fonts that don't match, multiple colors that aren't a part of their scheme. And we don't really understand what the message is here when we look at this tire ad. Speaking of message, this brings us, brings us to our next point. Now with every successful ad, there has to be what we call a call to action. Now it sounds very simple, but a lot of ads actually miss this point. Once people are intrigued by your ad, they need to know what to do, where to buy, or where to get your service. Now, you can see this in the Jaguar ad right here, the very bottom visit www.jaguar.com you know they state it very simply it's a simple call to action so the customer or the client knows what to do basically it drives them to do something after they view your ad and that brings us to the next point which finally is don't sell it now i'm sure you've seen the guy who's screaming at you from the TV, buy this today, this is the most important product of the century that everyone is talking about, and if you don't call within the next five minutes, you're not going to receive this amazing discount, and you'll never be able to get this product again. Now, we all know it's a lie. We don't listen to this anymore, and if your ad sounds anything close to that, it will not work. The fact is, our generation, the ger generation ahead of mine and the generation yours, really, 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 we all hate to be sold to. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple. Just remember those four points. We'll repeat them again. Branding, aesthetics, call to action, and don't sell it. We actually didn't rehearse doing it in unison, so I'm glad we didn't do the rest of it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we look forward to seeing what you come up with. Um, good luck. And if you run into any roadblocks whatsoever, any magazine, any publication, it's going to have a lot of ads open to you that can inspire you. So just do your research, design, and good luck.